Ladies and gentlemen, you are here live on recorded television on Stack Monster Productions. I'm the Stack Monster, you're not. I don't know who's winning in this deal, but in any event, I'll let you decide. We are here in the quarterfinals of the Morris County Tournament. The Knights advanced with a win last Saturday over Hanover Park, and Montville advanced with a win over Morristown. This is the number three seeded Montville Mustangs versus the number six seeded Knights from Morris Hills High School. If you don't remember that, just look at this sweatshirt. Nike, just do it. In any event, this morning we have a little more information from you. This morning, Jefferson advanced with a win over Persephone, number two seed. And the number one seed, Mendham, advanced with a win over Chatham. So, the winner of this matchup here today faces, I have no idea. But, stay tuned for some basketball actions. I'm the Stack Monster saying, see you on the court. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to start your engines. Eric Look, number 32 from Parsippany, New Jersey, member of the Math and Science Academy at Morris Hills High School. We'll get ready for the opening tip. Starting point guard number four, Sam Stackhouse. Starting two guard number 35, Anthony Leosi. Your low post players number 10, Damon Fleming, and number 11, Ryan Cattell. Opening shot by Leosi is off the mark. Oh, backdoor cut by number 12, but he was too deep under the basket and couldn't put it up. Leosi stole the pass into the paint. And Stackhouse brings the ball up court. Knights jumped out to a quick lead the first time they faced the Mustangs back in January, but weren't able to hold on. And Montmel comes in with only one loss. Cattell strong to the basket! Now, ladies and gentlemen, Mondo Mustangs got a hand on that, but Ryan Cattell was strong enough to still put that ball into the cylinder and the Knights with a 2-0 lead. Stackhouse drives his man left, and the bullet pass kicks off of the hands of number 20 and out of bounds. Montville fans call for an awakening. Me, not so much. Stackhouse over to Leosi. Inside to Fleming. Fleming with the feet just off the hand. The Mustangs on the run. Six forty-four, first quarter. Number eleven takes kicks. Number twenty swings left. Twelve looks for Lane. Leosi says no lane. Just outside the elbow. Jumper is good by number twenty. Scores knotted at two. Six minutes, 25. You tell inside the look. Double team down low. Look fades away. Oh, Offensive right. rebound yeah. off the miss. Patel will go to the line shooting two. Um, will, how tall is Ryan? 6'1". Six, 6'1". One. Six, one. That's his dad. That's an easy call. <laughs> Cattell with his second free throw. He knocks them both down for a 4-2 lead with 6 minutes and 12 seconds. Remaining in the first quarter. Number 12, inside the 20. Look is there defensively, blocked by Look. Kick back to the Montmel Mustang. He misses the second shot, and in the hands of Cattell. Cattell finds Stackhouse, and Stackhouse pushes the ball up court. Knights get ready to run their offense. They lead 4-2. Cattell over to Leosi. Nothing developed there. Stackhouse into the paint, floats it up, and in! for a 6-2 lead. If the Knights can suck them down low into the paint, number 11 with a nice drive and finish. Shaves two points off the Knights' lead. 6-4 at the 5-17 marker. You're watching first quarter action from Montville High School in Montville, New Jersey. Home of the man I like to call, JP. Look from Stack. 
Eric looks left, finds Cattell. 6-4. Tight contest to open the match. Inside to Leosi. Leosi. Cohen blocked it from behind. I believe number 12 is Cohen. Could be wrong. So what if I am? Cattell picks up the foul on the way to the basket by the Mustang. Mustang shooting two. First on Cattell. No, they called it on the floor. Much to my delight. Whoopee! Motion low! Motion low! Motion low is the call. What does that look like? Keep watching and you'll find out. They kick it out. Oh! A little prestidigitation by the coach. He gets us thinking down low and they pop it from outside and take a one point lead. As the bucket was good from three point range. Leosi to the basket, basket short. Leosi gets his feed back and he'll earn two at the strike. With four minutes and 14 seconds on the scoreboard. Leosi sets, bends his knees. Leosi knocks them both down for an 8-7 lead. I've got JP on color commentary today. And the astute assessment in that so far the Knights are doing a good job from the line. Number 15 has a look from three. And on the strength of two three-pointers, Montville is up 10-8. Look, swings it right. Knights trail by two after the three pointer by number 15. Losey gets the ball stripped away, doesn't want to commit a foul, and he does. Sometimes it's better to just give the man the layup and reset on offense and save those fouls for when you need them later in the game. That'll be the first on Leosi. Second team foul, two team fouls apiece. Free throw is good as Jack Koski, number one, checks in the game, replacing Leosi. Mustangs with a three point lead on the strength of that first free throw attempt. Second one extends it to four. 12 8. Come on, the play, let's go. Cattell over to Fleming. Backhouse cuts into the paint. Ducks under. Doesn't get the roll. Knights had an opportunity. We just passed the John 316 point. Cohen to the lane. Floats it. No. Offensive rebound. Put back is good. Knights are going to have to keep the Mustangs off the board. So far, the Mustangs are getting second look opportunities on the offensive glass. They lead 14 to 8. Stackhouse has look. He posted up in the middle, just outside the paint. Stackhouse spins, kicks out. Cattell. Cattell falls on the floor. They fight for the loose ball. Jump, possession arrow, Mustangs. Two minutes, 36 seconds of the first. <laughs> Knights had an 8-7 lead after Cattell's free throws. Since then, the Mustangs are on a 7-0 run. It, <coughs> excuse me, they hit two from two from downtown. Knights have yet to attempt a three-pointer. <coughs> Inside the 15. Look with a hand up, got a piece of it, but not enough. Number 15 scores again, and the Knights are doubled up 16 to eight by the Mustangs. They scored nine in a row. 
Cattell takes a baseline, kicks it back out. Fleming from the elbow. Long. Offensive rebound. Bada bang, bada. Oh, most. Another offensive rebound by Cattell. Cattell playing strong underneath. A big, a big factor in this game is going to be the play of our big guys down low. Montville is a big team. They only go about six deep from our scouting reports. And Fleming, Look, and Cattell, the job they do on the boards, is going to say a lot about the outcome of this game. Look will take a breather as number 22, Ryan Machuga, checks in. Cattell. Get in there. No good. Machuga almost gets the Knights another possession. And Knights have to dig in on the defensive end. Monville has been executing their offense very well and getting good looks. And even when the Knights have gotten a hand on the shot, oh, it was tipped away. Finkowski got a hand on it. Stackhouse over to Cattell. Cattell to the hoop. Jones spins. Too strong. Gets it back. Goes up strong. Again, too strong. Good job on the boards, though. As this game goes on, if they can wear them down, they can do some damage. But right now, they need another stop defensively as they trail by eight. Number 15 from outside. This one's no good. Box out by Binkowski, but it kicks out the 15. Backdoor cut. In and out. In and out. And that's going to be almost a backcourt violation. Mustangs keep it alive. 40 seconds remain in the first quarter. Fleming picks up number 20, takes away the backdoor cut. Twenty-eight seconds. Leosi back to the scores table. Three-pointer by 15. Binkowski got good position. He boxed out number 11, and number 11 had no choice but to foul Binkowski in going for the ball. For the first personal on number 11 in the fourth team foul for the Mustangs. Knights have it with 18 seconds left in the first. Stackhouse calls out the play. They're going to look to set up a final shot. Stackhouse over to the corner to Binkowski. Back to Stack with seven seconds. Stack drives, dishes, open Leosi. Leosi from the elbow. In and out at the buzzer. No good. And the Knights and Mustangs end the first, first quarter with the Mustangs leading the Knights by a score of 16 to 8. You're tuned in to Stack Monster Productions and Marshall's Knights Television Network. Coach G will go over the strategy at halftime and look to mitigate this eight point deficit in the second quarter. We're coming back at you to start the second quarter. Second quarter action. Knights look to get off the schneid. They haven't had a field goal in quite a while. Their last three points have been from the free throw line. Leosi, banks it in, and Leosi says, get on my back, boys, I think I know what to do, and he banks it in off the right side, cutting the lead to six for the Mustangs. Montville likes to get those backdoor cuts. Number 20 was able to get that, saved by Machuga, Machuga finds Stackhouse, Stackhouse guarded by number 11. He backs off. Stackhouse over to Leosi. Leosi drive into the paint. Floater. Gets it! Two in a row! Leosi considers a career in banking. Come on, defense. <laughs> Four in a row by Leosi. 16 to 12. Number 11 comes out to take it. Two defenders there, including Minkowski and Machuga. But 12 is able to knock it down with a lefty shot. 18 to 12. Yeah, three by Sam. That cast waits for Vinkoski to come free. Vinkoski moves his man off over to Fleming. Fleming to the elbow off of Machuga's hands into the hands of Stackhouse. Stackhouse. Stackhouse drives, kicks, Leosi is open from three, long, 15 grabs it. Number 11 out on the wing, Leosi's back defensively, he waits for the rest of his teammates. 
Nice feed. Ball fake baseline, 15, no good. On the floor, 15 comes up with it. Another miss. Ball's loose. On the floor. Jump ball. Stackhouse and Binkowski getting down and dirty on the floor like it's Groundhog Day all over again. Yeah, we got the last, yeah, more it's the hills. It's the hills. Come on, guys, you missed that one. Hills, hills started the sec second quarter with possession, therefore the possession arrow goes over to Montville. Inside, number 20 gets fouled. Montville doing a nice job moving the ball inside, outside, and within the, per, within the paint. And Knights have to be patient, help defense, and smart. Number 20 at the free throw line, shooting two, the six point lead. With five minutes and 53 seconds remaining in the first half. Second one is good, and it's a 19 to 12 lead. Right, Knights have not led since two nothing. Fleming has it. Yeah. Over to Machuga. Inside to Leosi. Leosi. Bank was closed on that one. Five and a half. Knights trail by seven. Good defense, Binkowski got a hand on it. Mustangs get it back into the paint. And the 12 rolls it in. Lead is back up to nine, 21 to 12. Stackhouse finds Binkowski. Binkowski back to Stack, Stack into the paint. Gets some contact, hits the deck. No call, but they call a suitcase on the night. Come on, Knights, you gotta be quick. Cattell checks back into the game with Look. Replacing Machuga and Fleming. Nine point deficit. Number four launches a three, no good. Cattell squeezes the rebound. Gets it to Stackhouse. Stackhouse looks up court. Decides to swing it right to Leosi. Leosi. Cattell keeps the dribble alive. Pull up jumper by Cattell. Good! Ryan says, I could tell we have a chance if we start knocking down some buckets. And he does, and the Knights trail by a touchdown. 21-14. Four minutes and 14. Come on, come on, hey, watch the window. Stop him. Come on. Ball fake into the paint. Cattell was there defensively. Blocked by Leosi. Mustangs coming up with a high percentage of the loose balls down in the offensive end. And it's led to more than a few buckets. Number 12, pull back. Rolls off. Look squeezes it for the Knights. Stackhouse, left to Leos. Leos into the paint, kick it back, look, Eric has a look, it's going to be off to the right. 3.33. Knights trail, 21-14. Eric look, tips it to Binkowski. Stackhouse. John 316 on the clock as Stack House. Hey, he, he. Okay, let's try that again. Let's rewind. Pinkowski with the ball. Over to Leosi. Leosi, three defenders. Swings in the look. Give and go. Pass in Leosi. He's tipped away. Knights not generating anything on the offensive end right now. A bucket here, a bucket there, a free throw here, a free throw there, but nothing consistent. Number 12 drives, pulls back, nothing. He gets it to 20. Look with a hand up in the face. Another big rebound by Cattell. Cattell brings it up. Cattell back to Stack. Stack. 
One swing to the left. Leosi with an open look. Rattles around. Does it go down? On the ground. Eric look. Short on the shot. Look gets it back. Into Binkowski. Binkowski. Nice climb by Binkowski. Oh, they call a suitcase. Everything looked good. All right, guys. Let's go. 213. Number five, Patrick McAndrew into the game, replacing Leosi. Knights are doing a terrific job moving that ball around and getting their looks. Stolen by McAndrew. Over to Stackhouse with 153. Fleming has it. Just inside. Yellow in! Damon Fleming! 21-16, five-point game. Stackhouse gets on his mirror, number four. Four, throws up a wild and crazy shot. I call that the Steve Martin shot. A wild and crazy shot which the Knights like. Look, out on the perimeter. One pass to the right. Mattel dribbles left. Baseline open up for just a second. The Knights lose the handle. Number two, Evan Turner checks into the game. Replacing Stackhouse. Turner, tails from Rockaway, New Jersey. A sophomore. Whistle on the play. That's only the fourth team foul. Good foul by Eric Turner. Good foul by Eric Turner, recognizing that they have plenty of fouls to give, not wanting the guy to get an easy lane to the basket, commits the personal foul. That's only his first. Give him a step. Give him a step. Layup. Is good for 23 to 16 lead. There's a steal. Layup attempt at the other end. It's four quick points. Extends the lead back out to nine. Knights had cut it to five. Now they just gotta play smart. Protect the ball. Turner, nice bounce pass into McAndrew. McAndrew, nice move to the basket. Oh! Turner, the ball flushes down with a nice little squirrel. Was it counterclockwise or counter or clockwise? This part of the country, the oh, a three-pointer at the buzzer, and it's a ten-point lead at halftime. As the Knights will take the third quarter, the Court for the third quarter, trailing 28 to 18. Do they have a comeback in them in the second half? For the answer to that and other of life's important questions, tune back in to Stack Monster Productions. Coach G talks over the second half strategy. Knights had cut it to four or five with under a minute to go. But an 8-2 run pushes the halftime score to 28-18. The original starting five out on the floor for the Knights. I take the plug off of the camera because of the bad karma that it created in the first half. But we're going to pure battery power. We heard it from up there, number four, with a slap on the wrist. First personal on four. First team foul of the second half. Knights would be helpful to start off with a positive vibe and a bucket to open. Leosi has a look from downtown. Back iron. Cattell with the offensive rebound. And Cattell! I could 
tell that was going to be good from the onset. And Ryan cuts it to eight with one to come. That's big. 14 seconds into the second half. As mysteriously out of the blue, a varsity swing player appears. Number 34. Not in the first game against Montville. Not in the first half. But suddenly appears. He came into the door at halftime wearing his varsity jacket. As the Montville Mustangs look for the extra edge in the second half. I call that, you might call it dirty dealings, I call that the ultimate respect for the Morris Hills Knights. Number 34, sporting the full beard. The OC shot, no good. Big rebound by Fleming. Fleming into Cattell. Cattell turns. Ryan Cattell! Two more! I can tell Ryan's hot! 28-22. Knights down by six. Open look from three. Run out. Stackhouse almost came up with it. Personal foul on Stackhouse, his first. That's all right, Sam. Mustangs have it with a six point lead. Cattell will open the second half with four points. They get it into the. Oh, number 34 blocked by Look. Look to Cattell. Cattell settles it down as the Montville defense gets into position. Stackhouse. Over to Cattell. Look, swing it right. Fleming. Through the baseline, cuts Cattell. Kicks off his foot, but right to Leos. Stackhouse calls out the play. Drives it a basket. He got caught in midair. He thought he had a lane. Inside, number 11. Fleming got a hand on that. A block by Look. Fleming and Look doing the job downtown. Leosi. Over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse pulls up from three. Off to the right. Stackhouse gets his rebound. Jump ball. Stackhouse followed his shot, grabbed the rebound. Possession arrow favored the Mustangs. Number 12 takes it baseline, bumped by Leosi. Second on Leosi. Two team fouls apiece. Third quarter action, five minutes and 40 seconds. Jack Binkowski in for Leosi. Binkowski out on number 12. The number 12 drains it from three. 31-22. Look, into the paint. Through the contact. Personal foul on the ringer, number 34. Stackhouse from downtown. Off the front of the rim. Rebound by Cattell. Cattell strong. Over to Binkowski. Binkowski one over to Stack. Stack spins, kicks it back out to Binkowski. They post up, look in the paint. Fleming pulls back. Fleming raises it. Fleming with four points. And big points at that. Come on, Hills. Shut him down now. Come on. Let's go, baby. Fleming's bucket cuts it down to seven. Tipped away by Minkowski. Minkowski. Cattell. Cattell with the finger roll. In and out. Four forty-one. Third quarter. 
Turnaround jumper by 15 is good. Nine point lead. Backhouse. Has Fleming on the wing. Fleming the look. Look takes the baseline. That's two on the ringer. Damien Gonzalez, number 12, into the game, replaces Look. Stackhouse, ball fake. Over to Fleming. Fleming's been hot. Stackhouse knows it. Cattell doing the job. Ryan Cattell. Ryan Cattell. Oh, they whistle a foul. They call him on the elbow. Ryan and Cattell playing the stock market with 400 shares of Windex as he's cleaning up the glass. That's the second on him. Shake it up, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Number 12, ball fake. They pass it to the right to number 11. 11 in the middle, number 15. Turn around inside the paint. Fleming grabs the board. Stackhouse guarded in the back court. Gets around him. Tries to feed it into. He gets a timeout before he falls out of bounds. As he's falling, he calls timeout. I don't know about the falling part, but the fact that he was hopping on one foot might account for something. We. I guess we should have a kangaroo court since he was hopping like a kangaroo. We'll come back after the timeout. Knights Trail, 33-24. Come on, defense. Going from outside, off the rim. They kick it back out to number 11. To 15 in the corner, run out by Fleming. 15 misses. Box out by Binkowski. Stackhouse guarded by two in the backcourt. Right. He's able to get it to Binkowski from his knees. Cattell. Has Binkowski to his right. Binkowski gets pumped by number 11, a push. Nice trail by nine. Come on, good job, Jack. Come on, go up, up. inbounds to a cutting Fleming. Fleming out to Cattell. Cattell into Gonzalez. Gonzalez spins left. <laughs> Offensive foul by Gonzalez. Yeah, looks like these guys playing. Knights trail with three minutes and change left of the third quarter. They trail by 11, their largest deficit of the game. 33-24. Hey, watch 12! Get back, Damien! Number four has it, kicks it out to number 12. Fleming, or Gonzalez with the run out, rebound by Cattell, the Windex man. Stackhouse calls swing, finds Fleming. Out pops Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Air ball saved by Fleming as Fleming tries to save it from going out of bounds. Stop him, Jack. Number 12 to the basket. Block. Oh. Come on. They whistle. That's a foul on Fleming. Fleming was hustling, or Fleming, check that. Gonzalez was hustling back on defense, but he wasn't able to get his feet set and he committed a blocking foul. Yeah. McAndrew checks in in a game with Machuga, re replaced Cattell and Gonzalez. No, it only works about 50%. <laughs> the Morsels fans try to put the whammy on the shooter. First whammy is good. Jill Binkowski is batting 500 on the whammy. Except only about 50%. Better than 0%. Better than Stackhouse, screened by Machuga. McAndrew loses the handle. But deflected out of bounds. Look at him. 
212. Knights came into the half trailing by 10. They trail by 10 now. They're all even here in the third quarter. Number 12 with the personal. His first. Now second on number 12. One more and the Knights will be in a bonus for the remainder of the game. Stackhouse. Calls for a screen. Number four will pick it up for the Mustang. And Stackhouse will be at the line. Say it ain't so, coach, but it is. <laughs> Stackhouse shoots a one and one with one minute and 59 seconds left in the third. First shot by Stackhouse, rattles around and goes down. Come on, Sam. 34-25. Second one by Stackhouse is good. 34-26. Knight's gonna go to a little bit of pressure. Matruga's back defensively. There's a miss. Binkowski squeezes it. Find Stackhouse. Stackhouse assesses the defense. Finds Fleming. Knights trail by eight. Stackhouse over to Machuga. Fleming, nice move in the paint. That's Fleming! Six huge points on the night for Fleming. McAndrew hustles back on the pre on the pressure defense. 34-28. Mustangs by six over the Knights. Drive by number 11. His pass is blocked. There's a three by number four, and he banks it in. 37-28. Back up to nine. Knights have not hit a three-pointer yet in this game. Stackhouse into the paint. It's swatted out of bounds. Pinkowski will reset with 48 seconds. Pinkowski saved by McAndrew. McAndrew back out to Pinkowski. Stackhouse from a deep three. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Kicks back out to Binkowski. Stackhouse, over to Bink, to the left. Bink to Stack. Stack with 33. Guarded by number 12. Binkowski into the paint, Stackhouse. Ball fake, into the left, grabbed by 12. Number 12 cannot stay with Stackhouse, no how, no way. And Stackhouse will shoot a one and one again. Looking to cut, slice into a nine point lead. Look checks back in the game with Leosi as my mouth is parched. My mouth is parched. I yawn and my back is arched. Good tell checks back in the game as I get a personal masseuse from a physical therapist. One and one for Stackhouse. The shot is going to be short. Knights do not want to give up a bucket to close out. Leosi, 15 drives baseline, throws it up, he's going to shoot. He'll be shooting free throws with 6.3 remaining in the third. Knights have got down the 6, 5, and 4, but no closer since a 2 0 lead in the first quarter. Number 15 launches, rattles around, doesn't go down. Mustangs 37, Knights 28. Second one does rattle around and goes down, and it's 10 point lead. Six seconds to go. Leosi, he's gonna attack. He's got one second, no time for Stackhouse to get it up. That didn't really sound right now, did it? We go to the third quarter, or fourth quarter, with the Knights trailing 
38 to 28 here on the Knights Television Network and Stack Monster Productions. Stackhouse, Cattell, Leosi, Look, and Fleming. These are the soldiers marching the battle to start the fourth quarter. Leosi can't get the roll. They called it off of the Knights. Not quite sure who got a hand on that for the Knights as there was a sea of white. Come on, pressure, pressure. Pressure come on, defense. Come on, come on, pressure. Um, Push him out, Sam. On the line. Oh, come on. A block? I thought he was going to call him the line. Ladies, let's have a lesson in geometry. When you run parallel to the ball handler, it's hard to have a block. <laughs> Perpendicular, parallel. Parallel, perpendicular. Perhaps the man with the parallel stripes on his shirt failed mathematics and geometry. Not that I am biased in any way, shape, or form. Lane violation on the Knights. Number 11 will blackjack do it again. Second one is a miss. They call another lane violation on the Knights. Come on. You gotta be kidding me! Life in the fast lane. Da -na 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 -na. Life in the fast lane. Bum bum. Leosi with the rebound off the miss. Three opportunities. Can the Knights make him pay? Stackhouse spins. Kicks. Look into the paint. Draws the contact, almost got the roll. Look, we'll shoot two. Knights haven't shot well so far in this game, but it's never too late to start with seven minutes and 23 seconds remaining and a 10 point deficit. Come on, Eric. Look is too strong on the first. Look second is good. It's down to nine. 38-29. Pressure. Turnover. They get it in the stack house. Stack house with a feed. The Cattell feeds him. Cattell fills the lane. And the Knights cut it to seven. Cattell got a hand on that. Ball's on the floor. Cattell has it. Did they give a timeout to Coach G? Coach G! So, I know what I'm doing. I'm calling a timeout. And the Knights have it back. Stay tuned. Like his travel hop over here? We got it. Randolph Rams, varsity, is in the house. Stackhouse with a nice save. He gets fouled, he'll shoot two. Randolph Rams, varsity, plays Monzo right after us. Coached by Matt Ty in the JV squad. Fresh off a win over Mo Beard last night. Coached by Matt the Hammer Hammer. Stackhouse shoots two. First one off the front of the rim is no good. Second in and out by Stackhouse. Mustangs have it with a seven point lead. Keep, come on, Anthony, pressure. Leosi there, they kick it out to 30. 30 from three, no good. Rebound by Fleming. Fleming over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse sees, look down the left side. Look back to Stack. Stack, one quick dribble into Leos. They reset with Stack. 
Seven point deficit, six and a half. Fleming inside to Leosi. Leosi back to Fleming over to Stackhouse. Bounces it in the look. Look back to Stack. Stack has a look. No, he ball fake, drive to the basket, floats it. Off. Ball heads a rebound by. Oh, Ryan could tell. I could tell if we got a chance, Ryan's the man. 38 33. Mustangs pull it back. They lead by five. Number 11 to the basket. Kicks it. Back door. Rolls in. 40 to 33. Stack to Leos. Leosi has a lane. Finger roll. Good. Back down to five. 40 to 35. Five and a half left. Number four. Tipped by Fleming. Number 15. Draws a contact. Good job by Fleming. The ball kicked to number 15, however, and he's able to spin and draw the contact. He'll shoot two at the line with five minutes and 26 seconds remaining in the game, and the Montville Mustangs have led the entire way after trailing 2 0. First one is no good. As I jump ahead for the second, wishful thinking on my part, 40 to 35. Second one, rattles around, dunks it down. Eric Look squeezes the board. Stackhouse. Started by number four at half court. Stackhouse waits for a cutter. Finds Leosi in the corner. Leosi from three. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Look, kicks it back out. Kicks to number four for the Mustangs. Tipped away, backside. Good tell. Deflected it away. Stackhouse runs it down. Oh! Oh! Blocked by Leosi! Cattell has it! Cattell! Fouled by number 12 from the backside! Good call by the referee! Number 12, can't believe it! But I can! Four on number 12! One more and he's out. That's four personal fouls on number 12. Cattell! To the line. Shooting two. Come on. Come on. Yeah. on the first and you. All right, do it again, Ryan. Tell Sweet Go cuts it to four. Give me a time. One minute and 55 seconds. Come on. Left on the clock. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Tell is good on the second. And as close as it's been since it was two nothing. Number 10 gets it over to 30. Look was in the paint, so the Mustangs elect to pull it back out. Hey, be quick. Mustangs lead by three, 40 to 37. They led 38 to 28 coming into the half, the fourth quarter. Number 10, inside the paint, off to the left. Fleming. Come on, help. Fleming finds Leosi. Good find by Fleming. Leosi finds a seam in the middle, kicks it out to look. Eric from three. Eric says! Oh! by number 15, short, to tell with the rebound. Over to Leos. All tied at 40. That's a nice on a 12-2 run to open the half. We have a timeout on the play, and the Knights are back in this game. Ryan Gattel, Eric Look, Anthony Leosi, Sam Stackhouse, and Damon Fleming. Timeout on the Knights Television Network. Halfway through the fourth, the Hills have come storming back to tie the score at 40. Now it's anybody's ball game. Whoever plays best for the next four minutes will advance. To tell two men on him. Spin moving the paint by Look. To tell with another rebound. To tell will go to the line and shoot two more. Two shots for the lead. First one is money. Let's go, Ryan. 
same way, buddy. Come on. Nice touch. Yes, Greg. Yes. Yeah. Second one is money for a 20. Yeah. Two point lead. Come on. Inside 15. Deflected away. Stolen by Stackhouse. Look might have got a hand on it. Stackhouse is going to slow down, wait for something to develop. Stackhouse. Over to Leosi. Back to Stack. Stack drives into the paint, kicks it. Open look for Fleming. Fleming in and out. Stolen by Leos. Leos back to Cattell. Cattell's in the line. I don't know what the final outcome is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, but one word comes to mind unselfish. Just do them like you did last time, my man. Yes. Cattell rattles around, doesn't go down. Three oh eight. Knights lead forty two to forty. Get it down. Get it down. Second yeah. one's good by Cattell. Knights lead by three. Three with three to go. Number 12 back into the game with four fouls. Come on, D. Let's see, let's go. Number 12 was their big shooter in the first half. Number 12 and number 15 get big shots. Come on, defense. Come on, no foul. Number four drives dishes. Number 11 into the paint. Goes up strong and lays it in. Touch it to one. Nice with possession in a 43 42 lead. Stackhouse. Over to look. Back to Cattell. Knights could sure use a bucket on this possession. Push it back out. Stackhouse has a lane in the basket. And he rolls it in! Stackhouse attacks the rim. Gives the Knights a three point lead. Now it comes down to defense. Number 12, pick out the 15. 15 is no good. Look squeezes it. Look whips it down. Over to Leosi. Leosi. Leosi takes it to the rim. Leosi! Five point lead. Under two. Knights have to play D. They can start, get a defensive stop here, and they can start. Big three on the other end. 47 45. Timeout. One minute and 35 seconds left. Tee him up! Full timeout. Yeah. 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 How much time was left <laughs> Coach G. And the boys in the huddle. Pissed up. The Knights will have a two point lead going into the play. Versus the Mustangs. Could tell. Full court pressure. Stackhouse pulls it back. Gets around a screen by Cattell. Timeout by Coach G. As Stackhouse is trapped in the corner looking for help. 30 second timeout. Knights will take it after the timeout. Right on the sideline in front of the hammer. We'll come back at you. Cattell inbound. Eric takes it, pops out. Cattell, over to Stackhouse. Stackhouse, back to look. Cattell, over to Fleming on the right. Double team. Cattell, over to look. 
looking to paint, kicks it, Leosi from deep. Kenny Willie, off the rim, tipped by Cattell. Cattell gets it, Cattell goes up. Oh, they call a jump ball. All right. 110, Mustangs have it. Trailing by two, minute six. Are they gonna set up a three? Number 12 into the paint, banks it in. Game is tied, 47 all, 53 seconds to go. Leosi, 47 seconds. Timeout by Leosi. Knights had it up to five, but a 5-0 run by the Mustangs ties the score up at 47. Knights will have possession. They're in a double bonus situation. Any foul and the Knights would be shooting two. Ideal situation would be a layup. And a two point lead. But the Knights would behoove themselves to get a bucket. Can they will it? Cattell one bound. Gets it to Stackhouse. Guarded by number four. Kicks it to Leosi with 40 seconds. Out to Cattell. And the Leos. Back to Cattell. 30 seconds. Will the Knights hold for the final shot? Cattell guarded by 12. Stackhouse by number four. Back to Cattell with 21 seconds. Over to Cattell. 14 seconds to go. Stackhouse takes it with 11. They're going to go into their offense now. Stackhouse drives, floats, side of the rim. Five seconds to go. Look is back defensively. Oh, they're going to call charge. Oh, look was there. And they call the charge. And with only 1.4. On the clock, they will not be shooting. They will not be shooting. It's an offensive foul. Knights have 1.4 seconds to get a half point, half court shot. We're gonna stay live. Look got back defensively, planted his feet, and took the charge. There are 1.4 seconds left in this game. Not a lot of time. Enough time for a catch and shoot. Can they draw something up to work someone free for an open look at a three at the buzzer? I don't think that Montville is going to allow anything in the paint close to the basket. Stackhouse can knock one down. Look can knock one down. Leosi can knock one down. Fleming's been shooting well. And what can I say about Ryan Cattell, the game he's had? Cattell has it. 1.2. And we're going to overtime. Would we have it any other way? 47 to 47. Four minutes of bonus coverage here on Stack Monster Productions in the Knights Television Network as the score is all knotted at 47. Going into the fourth quarter, the Knights trailed. 38 to 28. They had a five point lead with about three and a half to go. Opening right. tip controlled by the Knights. But Montville scored the last five points of the game of regulation to tie the score at 47, which is where we stand. Stackhouse bounces it into Leosa. Leosa gets it tipped away, saved by Fleming. Kicks it out to Cattell. Cattell takes it baseline. Three defenders there. So they swing it back out to the perimeter. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. cans it. For a two point lead, 49 47. Get a stop. Get a stop. John 3 16 on the clock. Overtime. And number 12, open look from three for number 15. Off the rim. Foul. They're going to get Stackhouse. Are they both going for the ball? 
One and one for number four. It's the third on Stackhouse. First one, rattles around, doesn't go down. Look for the rebound. No harm, no foul, even though it was a foul. Stackhouse, Leosi. Leosi spins, takes it to the paint. Finger roll. In! Leosi with four in a row in OT. And it's 51 to 47. Knights need to guard the three point shooters. That's how Mustangs have stayed in this game. Number 12 from downtown. It's an NBA shot. Nothing but air. Another three pointer down the other end. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Leosi with the rebound. Oh, Leosi had to tell. But he was too busy getting the rebound, and that's okay with me. Stackhouse. Over to Fleming. Fleming. Big stop. Knights can be patient with a four point lead. They do not have to take any crazy shots. They can hold the ball even long enough and wait for Montville to start fouling. Two minutes left. Cattell. Cattell to the basket. It is! Oh! A layup and a six point lead by Ryan Cattell! Knights don't want to foul, they don't want to stop the clock, and they do. Why? I don't know. Double bonus, that's four on Leosi. Double bonus for the final one minute and 49 seconds. Two shots for the Mustang. Mustangs trail by six. Number four sets, shoots, knocks it down. Five point game. Stackhouse guarded in the backcourt. Nice beat it. The OC, he's fouled, he'll shoot two. 144. The Mustangs are going to a foul strategy. Knights make their free throws. <laughs> Double bonus. Yeah. Send it out to six. Come on, Knights. One minute forty-four. Knights fifty-four. Mustangs forty-eight. Yeah. Second, rattles around, doesn't go down. Number 10 squeezes it for the Mustangs. Ball's loose, out of bounds. They say it was off of Leosi. Good hands, quick hands by Leosi. Six point game. Number 12 takes it back court, 135 on the clock. They're gonna look for a three, stolen by Leosi. Leosi can slow it down, but Leosi can also give the Knights an eight point lead. 56 48. No fouls. No fouls. No bucket. Rebound. 56 48. 115. Stackhouse has it. Knights by eight. Stackhouse spins. He can pull it back out. And Leosi will shoot two more. He can push it out to a double digit lead with two free throws. Shut it down, guys. first rattles around, doesn't go down. Eight point lead. One more to come for Leosi. 65 seconds, 65 ticks left on the clock. Second one by Leosi, rouse one. Eric, look, gets it back. Over to Cattell. And the Knights into Fleming. Fleming gets the ball stripped, but number four was out of bounds. Knights will have it back with 57 seconds. Out of bounds. 
Fleming goes deep to Leosi, back to stack. 56 seconds, number 12. Number 12 gets fouled out of the game with 55 seconds. That'll be his fifth. Stackhouse will shoot two. Another chance for the Knights to push it into double digits with under a minute to go. Stackhouse is money on the first. All net. All net. Come on, Sammy. Come on, play strong. Play strong. Kenny Willie. Rattles around and underneath. Money for a 20. Oh, and it's a 10 point lead. 52 seconds. Long three. That was a Beyonce shot to the left, to the left. Come on. Stackhouse gets fouled. He'll shoot two more. And then Knights lead by double digits. Congrats. Guys, I got a hustle, but congratulations. Doreen, Dawn. Way to go. Thank you, I'm sorry. JP's leaving the house. Do not get in front of the camera. Or you may not survive. That cast misses the first. What a great game. Come on, Sam. Their second one's good, and the Knights lead by 11. The Knights can just play good defense. Hands up. A layup doesn't hurt them. Nope. Oh, blocked by Leosi. Oh, they whistle. A little late on the whistle, but it counts. Leosi fouls out with 34 seconds left in overtime. All right, Anthony, great game, Anthony. But Binkowski will check in, replacing Leosi. Pinkowski was big in a win over Vernon on Tuesday night, number 15. We'll shoot two. First one is good. Cuts it to 10. As soon as the Knights get possession, the fouls are going to start coming. Second one is good. He's going to shoot three because he got fouled from behind the arc. That's a nine point game with 34.2. Third free throw, rattles around, goes down. Three big free throws. It's 59 to 51. Eight point game. Patel will shoot two as number four picks it up. And number four has got to be getting up there in fouls for Ma Montville. He picks up his fourth. Can Kintel match it on the other end? Two free throws here will push it out to 10. 33 seconds. Good job. Got this one. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Shoots the second. Second one off the rim. Number 30 has it. 30 seconds left. Nine point lead for the Knights. Long three by number 30. Rattles around, doesn't go down. Jack Minkowski into the game, squeezes a big rebound. Stackhouse goes long to Cattell. Cattell pulls it back out, waiting for the foul. Cattell in the Fleming with 12 seconds. And the Knights, ladies and gentlemen, the Knights trailed all game. 10 points at half. 10 points. That would be a fourth. And the Knights win. The Knights are going. To the semi-finals, the Knights showing heart, showing courage, and they knock off the number three seeded Montville Mustangs by a score of 60 to 51. You have been tuned in to the Knights Television Network and Stat Monster Productions. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy. Knights fans are happy. Mustang fans. <laughs> We close with a shot of the happy players. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's not about one player. It's about a team. And that is what you saw There's out no there. There is no I in team. There is no I in team. And there is no I in stack monster. Good night.
from Montville High School. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're tuned in to the Stack Monster Post Game Show. I'm coming at you live on recorded television from Montville High School. I'm here with Freeman Turner for the post game analysis. I have no microphone. Now I have a microphone. So, Freeman, what do you think the key was to the comeback by the Knights trailing since it was 2 nothing early in the game and by 10 points in most of the second half? I think the key was when they kept switching from zone to man and closed down the point spread. They were down by 10 and a half. They closed it down once they tied it up. Momentum was in on their side and they sent these boys home. So a little confusion, you'd say, on the Mustangs' ha behalf because of the switching between man and zone? I think we matched up better when we played them man-to-man -man and, man. and put pressure on And started turning the Mustangs over? Yes. And that was it. And once that wave of momentum came rushing in, it was like a night tsunami! Thank you to Freeman Turner. Good night. Stack and Poland Spring Water. Good night.